Hi everyone and welcome to the very first Pythonista video. In this video I'm going to be showing you the Pythonista 3 app and some of its features. Let's get started. When you first load up the Pythonista 3 app you'll see the code editor view in front of you. That's this big area where you can edit all of your code. If you swipe from the left to the right you'll open up the file menu. In here you can see that I've got a whole bunch of Python code files already sitting there as well as some images. That's where you'll see all of those. Also another thing to point out would be the examples folder. That's a really good place to start because the creator of the app has gone to the effort to write a whole bunch of interesting files you can have a look at to see how the different modules work. Also in the left menu you'll see the add new file button down at the bottom left. If you tap it you'll see the new menu. Here you can create new scripts and you can also import your photos from your camera roll into the Python Easter app. We'll have a look at the new menu in the next video. I'm just going to cancel out of that. The next thing to have a look at is the settings button and the settings menu. In the left menu at the bottom you will see a gear icon, if you tap that you will get into settings. Here you can change the theme. I am using the editorial theme which you can find at the bottom right, but it actually doesn't matter which theme you use as long as you are comfortable with it. You can also change your code font and have a look at some of the other different settings you can change. Next I'm going to show you the play button. When you're actually editing your code, I'm just going to go into the examples folder and run the game tutorial. When you're actually editing your code, you use the play button to run your code. That's as if someone has loaded your app using the button on the home screen, the home screen icon. If you press this, you'll run your code. To close it, you just press the X in its place, also at the top right. Speaking of the top right, you've also got a new tab button, which is the plus on the top right. If you press that, then you'll get a new tab. The thing that I wanted to have a look at is the documentation menu. Tap into the documentation and it looks like this. There's a few different things you can have a look at. So the first one would be the language tutorial. That shows you all of the different bits and pieces of the Python language in general which is used on the computer and also on the iPad. If we go back we can also see that there is a section dedicated to Python Easter modules. These Python Easter modules are how you're going to make iOS specific apps within Python. The creator of Python Easter has created all of these modules for you to use so you can go through and you can read about how they work and there's plenty of example code in there. Also if you get stuck and you're not quite sure how a method or a function works or the attributes that belong to a certain object type you can have a look in the docs but we'll have a go at that a bit later. Next we'll also have a look at the console view because that's, that's important. If you're in your code view and you swipe from the right towards the left, you'll open up the console. It's also another quick way of getting to the docs. In the console, you'll see all the input and the output of your text-based programs. The last thing I'm going to show you is the other plus menu. When you're actually editing your code, it'll look like this, and this plus menu will be available to you. And here you can have a look at all of the inbuilt images, sounds and fonts that come with Python Easter. And there's also a colors tab. So in the images tab you can see you've got your own files, you've got platformer art, you've got puzzle game art. All of these are free to use and free to use in your published apps as well. You've also got sound effects in there. And colors if you want to select a color and press in insert, you'll get the colour code inserted and also fonts when you get up to the point of using label nodes and drawing text onto the screen. So that's just a little bit of an intro to the interface of Pythonista and how it works. Next video we'll have a look at variables 
and making our very first app.